Take all of those feelings and let that motivate us to take action. To find strength in knowing that they are doing what they're doing because they're afraid of us. That just like we see foreign dictators are afraid of democracy, the Democrat elite are so afraid of a free people and a free society and the possibility that we, the American people, might make the wrong choice in this election by choosing someone other than them. They are doing all they can through the power of law enforcement, the criminal justice system, the national security state, doing all that they can to stop us from exercising our freedom. They forget that we, the people, are the ones with the power. But we have to use that power. We cannot allow them to get away with this. Our democracy is under attack, and it's up to us to save it. We have to hold those responsible accountable at the ballot box. We have to send this strong message to leaders in both parties that those who abuse their power and undermine our democracy and our freedom will not be tolerated. If we do nothing, if we turn a blind eye to those who are weaponizing our criminal justice system against their political opponents and telling us who we are and aren't allowed to vote for, telling us what we are and aren't allowed to say or see or hear, it will set a dangerous precedent for every election and presidency in the future. And the democracy as we know it will be finished. Now I know we face challenges in our entire political system. And those challenges are not limited to one political party.